Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're finally doing volume two of one of my, like, surprisingly, like, most popular and most requested videos, the best and worst of black lipsticks. I did this video last year, and I picked out a bunch of black lipsticks around October, because as someone, <laughs> I have to say, I'm someone who loves black lipstick. Like, this look, I'm living for it. But I really don't get the chance to really, like, wear it that often, like, outside of the house. <laughs> Uh, like, I can't wear black lipstick to work, uh, and when I'm, like, on the weekends or hanging out with friends and family, I typically don't wear heavy lipstick. I'm probably the only person who loves black lipstick this much, but then, like, barely wears it. But that being said, there weren't really a lot of black lipstick recommendation or review videos. So that's why I did the video last year, and it was really, like, well-received. I still get random, like, bumps whenever uh, people are looking for black lipstick and I still get comments on it. And I've been waiting to do a volume two and I finally got together a bunch of more black lipsticks and most of these are recommendations from you guys. So thank you to everyone who commented on that first video and gave me ideas for lipsticks to pick out because my all time favorite now from this video was a recommendation from one of you guys and I, I love it. I really do. So this is just gonna be like the first one. I'm going to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, can I count? Eight. I can't count. I don't do math. I'm gonna go through eight lipsticks. I kind of have them in order of like my least favorite to most favorite. I'm just talking about these new lipsticks here. If you want my thoughts on the other lipsticks I talked about, check out volume one of this series, which I kind of do want to make it a series. I like having like a once a year, maybe twice a year, black lipstick. Did I have something in my teeth? No. Black lipstick video. <laughs> I'm really excited. So let's just jump in. I have all of my notes here on my laptop, so I'm just going to be looking over here and letting you guys know price points and everything as well for each lipstick. The first lipstick I'm going to be talking about is actually like my least favorite from this batch of lipsticks, unfortunately, but <laughs> unfortunately so because it was also one of the more expensive lipsticks out of all of these. And this is from Marc Jacobs Beauty. This is the La Marc Lip Creme in Blacker, which is the deepest, shiniest black according to their website. I picked this up for $30. <laughs> you are correct. $30 from the Sephora website, though now it is currently on sale for like 15 <laughs> I wish I had gotten it on sale. <sighs> but you know, hindsight is 2020. This lipstick is really hard to apply after the first time you use it and you'll see that in the demo that I'll pop up on the screen. The sharp, okay, so the tip of the lipstick, it comes out very nicely sharp when you first get it, but of course you use it once and that tip is gone. So it's really hard to get a nice sharp line without a lip brush. I didn't want to go in with a lip brush with this because I wanted to see how it applied on its own. But without a lip brush, there's no way to get a nice sharp line on this. When it comes to black lipstick, like, you need a nice sharp, like, outline. Which is why I think, like, the liquid lipstick formula is perfect for black lipstick. Because you need that sharp, crisp line. And just, there's, it wasn't there. It's not there. That being said, this is one of the more comfortable formulas in this entire list. Uh, do I think that makes up for the price point? No. Uh, no, especially because it is a bullet formula, it is going to move. You're, you do have to reapply it after you eat. That being said, it does last decently through a day, but it's going to take you a lot longer to apply it just because it's such a pain in the butt to apply it. So I, uh, because of all of that, this is like my least favorite out of the entire um, group. And it's the only bullet lipstick I got for this group of lipsticks because last video I did pick up a bunch more bullet lipsticks and for the most part... They just, I don't think bullet lipsticks are a good medium for a black lipstick. That's just my personal opinion. I've never seen one that works like really, really well. I've seen like some okay ones, but so far nothing in the bullet lipstick form has done great for me in a black shade. That being said, this is also the most expensive one. I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive one in here. And it just, I can't recommend it. It just, it wasn't that great. The next one on my list is actually kind of confusing because I don't know if I already talked about this one in my last video. This is from Wet n Wild and this is their Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Get Some Booze. Booze as in B-O-O, -O, like 
boo. Like, okay, I get it. It's kind of funny. I reviewed a lipstick in the first video that was from the same line, also a black shade, but it was called So Noir Cool. So I don't know if they just re-release the same black lipstick every year with a different name or if these are actually different. I did experience different things with each lipstick, so I can't tell if it's just because their formula as a whole in this line is so hit or miss and different between shades that maybe these are supposed to be the same shade but it's different or if they literally like just re-release the same black shade every year. I don't know. If you happen to know a little bit more, please let us know down in the comments. But I'll give you my thoughts on this one, which is get some booze. I had to keep looking at it because I almost called it So Noir Cool. So this is pretty dry, but it actually applies well. It applies a little bit better than I remember the other one applying because last year I remember saying that we did have to go in with more than one layer in order for it to get a nice, like, opaque look. This one, I only really had to go in with one layer, maybe one and a half layers max. Last year, the shade So Noir Cool, I did have to do at least two full layers to get opacity on my lips, just through my natural lip color. It does apply better, which makes it great in the short term, but this it does not last well throughout a day. It cracks, it cracks, and it dries out your lips, and it does not look good. And if you wanna reapply this throughout a day, you have to fully remove the lipstick, which, yeah, and then you gotta reapply it. You can't reapply this on top of the existing lipstick because it looks even worse. So uh, I can't recommend this shade. Unfortunately, the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit line from Wet n Wild has some amazing hits with certain shades, but then other shades are complete garbage. So it's really hard to tell which one's going to be a good one, which one's going to be a bad one. So far, my favorites are Rebel Rose, which is like their perfect mauve shade. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And then they have Nudie Patootie, which is like a really like almost concealer lips light shade. And then like their red, the bright red one. Those are like the only ones that are consistently good. Every other shade that I've tried, it, it has just hasn't been there. The quality has not been there. The opacity, the wear time, it's just, it's not there. So that being said, unfortunately, this one, this one is more affordable. I got this at a Walgreens, actually in store, and it was only $4.99. It's not worth even the $4.99. The next lipstick I have is actually from the Sephora Collection. This is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain Liquid Lipstick in color number 28, Nightbird. I picked this up for $14 from Sephora.com, and I think right now it is sold out, um, but I did purchase this like back in the middle of summer when I was collecting these shades. I think now that it's probably Halloween time, a lot of these might not be as easily available, unfortunately. This lipstick applied surprisingly well. It's got a nice doe foot applicator that can get you some nice crisp lines. This probably applied among the best of any of these lipsticks but it only looked great for like the first few minutes this is a lipstick that you would wear only for like a photo op or i don't even know if i could recommend it for a video because once you apply this it and it dries down it's the most uncomfortable lipstick ever unfortunately i just I didn't want to keep wearing this for a full day, but I did wear it for a few hours, and even then, if you talk a lot, like I'm doing now, it'll crack, and it'll look bad. And this, when it cracks and everything, you can't reapply this on top, because you're adding dry on top of dry on top of dry. It's just not going to work for you. Um, I did try putting a gloss on top of this, and it also didn't work that great. It was just like, you would like move around, and then you would end up with like black on your lips, and black on your like chin, and black on your like teeth didn't work. So I could only really recommend this if you're literally going to put it on, take a photo, and then immediately take it off. $14 isn't a horrible price for that, but there are better lipsticks. We're getting to better lipsticks here. So quite honestly, I, I would avoid this one. I don't think it's comfortable. I don't think I wear as well. I, the only thing you get out of it is a nice crisp line. <laughs> so maybe you could use this as like a liner, like just use this to outline your lips and then fill it in with a different black lipstick. I need to try that. <laughs> the next lipstick I'm going to talk about, I've got really mixed feelings about. Like, it sits right in the middle. There are some really great pros to this lipstick, and there are also a couple of cons that I haven't figured out a way to work around yet. 
This is from Ofra, and this is the long-lasting liquid lipstick in the Bronx, which they describe on the Ulta website as a true black with a hydrating matte finish. And that confused the hell out of me when I first read that, because how the hell is it a hydrating matte finish? But oh my god, did it deliver. It looks gorgeous when you first apply it. Like in the application, I look shocked because every time I apply it, I see how big and juicy my lips look and I love it. It looks amazing. It looks great. Um, that being said, it doesn't dry down to a visual matte and it does transfer a little bit. So you have to keep that in mind with this lipstick. Uh, when they say hydrating matte, I think it's more of kind of like a, a silky satin. If that, if that makes sense. One thing I will note, I did purchase this on the Ulta website through a web order. I got it delivered. The picture they have on the website, I guess, is their new packaging for this lipstick, but I did get the old packaging. So I don't know if they're just getting rid of old stock. So if you look on the website, you're not going to get that same bottle, tube, and applicator. You're going to get the older one as far as I'm aware, which is just a doe foot applicator and their older kind of not not the pristine white packaging. So just keep that in mind. It is a bit kind of weird, <laughs> but I think they're probably just getting rid of like this older packaging and then they're moving into the older one. I don't know. If you've ordered this recently from Ulta, let me know down below and if you got like that new packaging or if you got this old packaging too. Because I did place my order for this back in June, so it was a bit ago. Looking at my notes here on the over lipstick, I did say I'm not a huge fan in general of the formula, but the black lipstick applied so well. Um, and I am iffy about full day wear. So my camera just cut off. I'm not sure exactly how far I got, but I was talking about the all day wear for the Ofra lipstick. And I was saying that I was hit or miss about this because I did wear this a few days and some days if it did wear off a little bit, typically on the lower lip and I reapplied it, it still looked really nice but then some days when I reapplied it it would like you could see like where the old lipstick was and where the new lipstick was applied over to the point where I just had to add a whole new layer on top which at that point felt a bit uncomfortable but it still looked really nice so I think there was a bit of a trade-off there it is a gorgeous lipstick like it, it makes you look like mwah, like chef's kiss like juicy plump gorgeous lips but you, you kind of have to babysit it and when you reapply you're gonna have to reapply over everything you can't just touch up spots this was $17 on the Ulta website and I think it's right around the right price point I would pay again for this lipstick uh, especially from Ulta you can use coupons you can use like discount codes so I actually think this is one of the first like okay lipsticks of this batch. The next lipstick I'm talking about I also purchased from Ulta and this is from MAC. This is the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Caviar. Now I didn't like how dry this was and I also didn't like how it applied. I'm just gonna go ahead and say I really don't like this <laughs> at all. Uh, it applied really well um, except for like the cupid's bow area because the applicator on this it's a little fuzzy on the tip to the point where it is difficult to get a crisp line with the top of the applicator the side of the applicator is awesome for getting like your lines on the side and on the corner of your mouth but like the cupid's bow never really worked well for me which you need a nice sharp cupid's bow when you're wearing a black lipstick it is very dry but it does last well throughout a day it's just not comfortable really um you can also reapply this really easy you can touch up a little certain spots and make it look really nice but you're gonna feel like you're wearing a lipstick all day and you're gonna have to babysit it because once it starts rubbing off you need to go and touch it up that being said you can touch it up i would expect more considering a this is mac and b the 22 dollar lipstick and my favorite one i think is around 18 dollars so i wouldn't purchase this again knowing what I know now because there are better performing lipsticks that you really don't have to babysit as much when this one you do. I don't know if they have black lipsticks in any of their other lipstick lines from MAC. This is just the first one that I found. This is from the Retro Matte Liquid line. So let me know down below if there are any other MAC black lipsticks that you like or if there are any other ones I should try out for the next video. The next lipstick I actually really didn't like and I was surprised because it was one of the ones that was most recommended to me after my last video. 
This is from Smashbox, and this is the Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tar Pit. This was $24, so again, a bit of a pricier one, and I hated it. <laughs> really didn't like it. Um, this was the hardest to apply. It smudges and transfers everywhere. This is the only lipstick where I continually got it on my teeth, I got it on the rest of my makeup, I got it on my hands, and it's a black lipstick, so it's gonna stain. <laughs> At least through your foundation, you're gonna have to touch up there, you're gonna have to make sure you wash your hands and, you know, get it all off. And I didn't like the lines at all. It made my lips look bleh. The notes that I have here just say I would not want to reach for this again. I did wear this a couple of times and I forced myself to wear it a couple of times, but just because of the application process, I wouldn't recommend this. There are cheaper lipsticks you can get that look better, apply better, and I just, uh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. And I did feel like it was a bit, I don't know, like it didn't dry down fully matte. It still kept kind of transferring in some spots. Like some spots I think out here dried down matte, but then like there were always like patches that didn't fully dry down on me, which I thought was the weirdest thing in a liquid lipstick. And I don't know if that's just this formula from Smashbox. I haven't tried out any of their other shades in this line. It's just this one that I picked up. So I don't know if it's an issue with this line as a whole or if it's just this black shade. Either way, uh, it's expensive. I wouldn't recommend it. There, There's better coming. The next lipstick I'll talk about is from Juvia's Place, and this is the Festival Liquid Lipstick in the shade Doo Doo. I see right now on their website it's on sale for $5, which is a steal, um, but I purchased this at the full price, which was $12. I have to say, at first I was a bit confused by the applicator. It's a bit longer of a doe foot than I am used to, but it actually works so well for getting a nice crisp line and looks gorgeous. I love how this feels. I love how this wears. Um, it reapplies really nicely, but it does stay, it dries down and it stays just in place where you actually put it. It's really comfortable. I just, I actually was so surprised and I love this lipstick. It's not my favorite. My favorite's coming next, but this is a really great lipstick and it's only $12 and right now it's only $5. I would say jump on that. I would say, yeah, get this for $5. It's an incredible lipstick. I would say this is a really good, like, first black lipstick. If you're brand new to this, if you want to get something affordable, but you want to get something that's actually going to, like, last and allow you to experiment with black lip, blah, 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 with black lipstick, I would say go for the Juvia's Place. It's surprisingly amazing. And last but not least, the best girl. <laughs> that's literally in my notes. I have this listed as best girl. <laughs> This is the lipstick I am wearing now. It has been my favorite ever since I have picked it up. It's amazing and I love it. And it's in the mid range of price. This is the Liquid to Matte Lipstick by Black Moon Cosmetics in the shade Sleepwalker. This is $18 and I picked this up from the Ulta website. I think this is an online only product, but I'm not really sure. I know Black Moon Cosmetics is in some Ulta stores. I have to double check to see if this is an online only lipstick or if they do have it in some stores. And this is legitimately the most comfortable lipstick I've ever tried. This rivals the Jeffree Star Cosmetics formula when it comes to comfortabil comfortability, comfortableness, Whew, words. It is so comfortable, like I at times I forgot I was wearing a lipstick. It isn't drying, it's oh, it's great, and I love the applicator. The applicator on this, it's not a doe foot, it's like a, a, a rounded off rectangle, which at first I was a bit confused by. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get crisp lines from this, I don't know how it's gonna work. It works, oh, it, it's amazing. I can, dip the applicator in once and get a full application. You don't have to re-dip the applicator to get anything else. One layer, full opacity. One layer, full opacity. On top of that, this thing lasts a day. Uh, I only have to reapply it if I'm eating. If I eat something and I see like in here, kind of gets a little bit off, I can just reapply it and it looks just as amazing, still as comfortable. The only thing I notice is that if I do talk a lot, like right now, I get just a little bit of the line right here, but that's it. The lipstick stays where I applied it. The lipstick still feels comfortable and it's still opaque. It doesn't crack, it doesn't fade, it doesn't look gray. It looks great. 
So this is the favorite. This was actually a recommendation from a comment on my first video. So thank you whoever recommended this to me because this is my new favorite black lipstick of all time. Oh. So thank you guys so much for joining me for volume two of the best and worst black lipsticks this spoopy season. Let me know down below if there's any black lipsticks that I may have missed that you want to see me do in my next volume. I don't know if I'm going to wait until next October to do another video. If I get a lot of recommendations, I could probably do one like, I don't know, Halloween in July or something. We'll see how many recommendations I get. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.